벌써 왔어. This is Blake. Yo, this is Steve. This is James. We're from Succor. This is Dr. Ivar Forkbeard from the Mighty Separation of Sanity. I'm the short guy. I'm the tickler. I'm Jacob. I'm the guy with the weapons. And I'm Johnny. And we are War Warcraft. Frank. This is Carl from Proven. We, we are American Number Dose. This, this is Fox Northwest Metal, Metal Show on Coop Radio. Corrupt, in the dominate, ass. and destroy! KOUVradio.com Knock in! Orders all of you to get up off of your asses, out of your chairs, away from the table, bring your drinks down to the pit and get the fuck up! Mosh, 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 mosh! Mosh, mosh, mosh! Don't get the fuck up! Mosh, 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 mosh! Mosh, mosh, mosh! Don't get the fuck up! Mosh, 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 mosh! Mosh, mosh, mosh! Don't get the fuck up! Love the way that fucking song ends. Welcome to Vox's Northwest Metal Show. This is the 10 to 13 edition of the sick shit. Featuring Above Ground, Evil Motherfucking Joe, Nikki Northcraft, and. What, what do you even go by these days? Lady Chaos. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Chaos. Lady Motherfucking Chaos in the house with Musical Chaos promotions. Holla. What's up, guys? Hey. How are you? You guys are an exciting bunch. Joe, Ooh. you need to drink faster so that mouth will fuck, fucking start running. <laughs> I wanna, I, so my mouth will fuck? Y- yeah. Take more than a couple beers to get that, buddy. No, it won't. I know you're 
So thank you all for listening. We've got a badass fucking show for you tonight. Uh, we've got a lot of sick fucking music. And uh, we've got some call-ins from some pretty pretty cool people. So I think you guys are going to like it. And hopefully uh, we get some call-ins from you. Come call-ins from you! Give us a call. 360-977-LIVE. Or as we say here every week, if you are already too fucked up to see the little letters on your phone, it's 977 Five, four, eight, three. Say it nice and slow so they can process. What, what was that? Nine seven seven. Live. live, live Call it. Live, live. Call it. We're gonna give away some free shit if if we decide that we want to like mm-hmm. you. So, and not far. You can humor us. Yeah. Yeah. So the caller that was calling on there in the whole intro thing. Phone number is two zero nine six. Anyway, give us a call. Two two zero nine. Yeah. 209, that's Cali. Yep, Cali. Fuck yeah, I'm from the 209, dude. Stockton! <laughs> I'm from the streets, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Which, did you guys know that Joe is an OG? He's, he's an OJ, dude. <laughs> hey, dude, ever since I went to jail, dude, fucking my street cred just went through the roof, man. Right. Seriously. <laughs> Fucking wear the county blues and all that, and just Somebody rolling just hardcore now. <laughs> um, so those of you out there that are listening, you obviously know that you go to KOUVradio.com to tune in. But uh, right underneath the little player, uh, you can click something that says In Studio Video. Now that's actually kind of a cool little thing, because then you can actually see us on webcam, and it streams the audio at the same time. So... That way we can be in your ear holes and your eye sockets. I, I like it like that. Naked. That, that's like... And I was going to say, we do have ladies in tonight, which is pretty rare, so a little yeah, eye for, candy. Yeah, there. for the metal show, dude. We, ha- we never have chicks in here. Yep. Well, ones with clothes on anyway. Yeah. Usually they're just fucking naked sluts under the table, but... And you can never see my camera. <laughs> <laughs> you can only see us my fucking leaning back in our chair. A little ass crack maybe every now and then, but... <laughs> We try and keep them tucked away. That's why we have the music here for the ladies. Yeah, exactly. It keeps the mood going. So uh, if you guys uh, want to give us some shit or ask some questions or give us some shit, we're, we're here for you. This is for you. We are hard for you. Here for you. And uh, we, I like taking requests, too, because this is all about local music. So I want you to tell me who you want to hear, and I'll, I probably have it. And it's the month of October. I know somebody out there has to have some kind of fucked up story that's happened this month oh, so yeah. far. I mean, I can't be the only one that calls up saying really delicious, gross, <laughs> disgusting, vile, fucked up shit. Yeah, everybody. yeah, but dude, not everyone fucking shits on their relatives, you know? Oops. Everyone um, I know has a disgusting story, and they should call in and tell us one. Yeah, we want we want to hear it because... <laughs> they all have one. I know it. <laughs> if, if you haven't noticed, this shit is fucking uncensored, so... Uh, I don't I don't have a disgusting story. <laughs> Whatever. I don't either. Yeah, you probably it starts with your, it, start, <laughs> it starts with your birth, and it hasn't ended yet. That is disgusting, yeah. <laughs> I actually got a... Um, Kind of a new one that happened a few weeks ago. I got completely blacked out, drunk, trashed at the ranch with uh, Dr. Ivar Forkbeard. Ah. Ended Ooh. up at my house. I was talking to my neighbor, and my brother-in-law was standing in front of me, but with his back turned towards me, set his beer down. I shit you not with the blink of an eye. Pulled my dick out, pissed in it, and set it back before he even noticed that his beer was gone. That's, you you that's pissed awesome. in a beer. Pissed in his beer. Again. Just randomly. Damn. You're, you're such a sweetheart. It wasn't a we good call guy it. or anything. Hey, hey we got to call it. It's going to be a disgusting story. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CoovRadio.com. I try to find your fucking self! I can't hear you. Hey, hello? I try to find your fucking self! Your fucking self? <laughs> He's my fucking self. Who, who, who is this? Who is this is? Let's try to find your Is that better? This Costa from Hatriot. Hey, what's up, dude? So Not much. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing fucking awesome. This is uh, our first special guest of the evening calling in. Um, you're going to... Dude, I can't pronounce your fucking name. It's way too fucking metal for me. Costa. <laughs> uh, okay, Costa. Uh, last name's Barbatakis. What yeah, yeah what, what he said. This guy's the fucking lead guitarist for a band called Hatriot. Um, that, uh, you guys are going on tour soon, aren't you? 
Uh, yeah, we got a little thing in Europe, I guess, that's uh, planned out for November, and we got a thing in January uh, shooting out to Brazil. Yeah, that must be really hard, you know, going all the way to South America and Europe and stuff to play music. <laughs> and, and get... It's a dream come true. I'm really, I feel really fortunate that we get to do it. Yeah, fuck yeah. So, so what's it like being in a band as well known as as the Mighty Hatriot? Uh, it's pretty badass. I, uh, to put it, you know, to say the least. I mean, me and Zet pretty much write the music. I write, the, I write all the riffs. He writes the lyrics, and uh, it's a formula that works really well. And his sons Vic and Cody come in and lay down that ri- awesome rhythm. And we actually have got a guitarist named Justin now in the band, and. Uh, He's kicking some ass, too. He's doing a really good job. Fuck yeah. And then you just let the ladies do the rest, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, it, the, 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 it, the real work. Is it true what they say, dude? Uh, you know, money for nothing and chicks for free? Or do, uh, or do you still have to pay for the hookers? Yeah. <laughs> money for nothing, chicks for free. Yeah, so so far. So yeah. far, money money comes and goes, and chicks don't really come at all. <laughs> You're doing it wrong, bro. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, so um, you know you've been on tour. Uh, w- we like to hear some fucked up stories on this show, and uh, being on tour with a metal band usually tends to have some pretty fucked up experiences. So, I'd like you to share with us one of your most treasured fucked up tour experiences. Uh, most treasured uh, fucked up experiences at a show. Let me think here. I, I've seen some... It's not really more fucked up. It's more funny things that we've seen. Um, I remember one guy was wearing, like, a straight-up sombrero. Uh, we played a show in L.A., and this dude totally looked like he didn't even belong there. He was rocking, like, a sombrero, and just in the pit, and all you saw was, like, this sombrero running around, and he was actually owning everyone, and that was That's funny. awesome. You know, if you're going to have a sombrero in the pit, you might as well be fucking kicking some ass, right? He was. He was owning everyone. He couldn't speak a word of English, but knew all our lyrics and bought a bunch of merch so dude that's awesome like didn't catch his name but jose i didn't catch his name i i'm pretty sure it was something like that <laughs> yeah let's call him jose uh, or, or, or hector or or something or or uh billy <laughs> <laughs> billy yeah billy something like that uh mr uh billy bolt was unable to make it tonight. Um, but he's directing from uh, Beyond the Web. Beyond the Web. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's like, turn the phone lines on. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I tried giving you guys a call. It's like uh, nothing nothing came up. I was like, what's going on? But yeah, I'm we sure started a little late. I apologize. Work. Yeah, it's all his fault. It's, it's because fault. Bill, it's Billy's fault because yeah. if he were here, it would have been done. We would have started on time. Yeah. God damn it, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> So fuck yeah, dude! Thank you for uh, you know checking in with us and uh, have fun on your um, tour. How long are you guys gonna be on the road for? Uh, Europe is gonna be uh, pretty much like a weekend. Brazil is gonna be like a week. So just a little short runs, but gotta make the most of them for sure. Yeah, try not to bring any fucking crazy diseases back with you because that that's not fun from what I hear, dude. Like uh, I can't make any promises. <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> yeah, I guess Brazil rainforest, dude. I mean. That, don't they have those fish that like swim with your urethra down there? Oh yeah, like that's oh. that shit's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, man. they do. I, I read I read something about them in the Amazon. There's some weird little microscopic fish or something. Yeah, it, it swims right. up. It sends the salt coming out of the drip of uh, chlamydia out of your urethra, and it just gnaws on your your pecker until your balls come inside out. And and me and Joe especially, we have a ton of chlamydia just dripping out of our fucking dicks all the time, dude. So it's especially dangerous. I thought that was regular. <laughs> no, that's it's not normal, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's the out here in Modesto. We, out here in Modesto, we have a, like our, our own special kind of diseases. So I don't know; it might kill that fish. It, trust me, bro. It doesn't. Um, I I grew up and uh, graduated in Stockton, so uh, trust me. Uh, <laughs> so you share my pain. Yeah, the the NorCal people are not immune. So sorry, bro. Sorry to break it to you. But they did find a cure for hepatitis. Cheers! Woo! Yeah. Who's gonna there go, we go. Pam Anderson first? Yeah. Now, now, you, now you can shoot up meth and not worry. Yeah, damn straight, <laughs> dude. So oh, fuck yeah, dude. Thank okay. you for calling in, man. And uh, stay, stay tuned. Keep checking in with us. Let us know how fucking tour went, man. Oh, definitely. You got it. Much love to Hatriot. Check those guys out online and uh, buy their album and give them money for 
more hookers and more tours. Mm -hmm. And penicillin. Cheap, cheap hookers. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing is, you can always get more hookers if you keep them cheap. You know. Definitely. Three. Besides, it's not a blowjob until the teeth come out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, damn straight. You know, <laughs> just know get that. A, just get a gummer, dude. Because one, you get a discount, and two, I don't know. It's just, it's something else. It really does. It really does feel better. <laughs> yeah. My my only experience was with an eighty-seven-year-old though, so it was kind of. She's still had a tooth or two left. It was a little jaded, dude. Did you sleep? Told me you slayed a dragon because you know, like MILF is like you know when when you bang a MILF, you know you bang the MILF. So when you bang a grandma, she's really called a dragon. So no, if you no, bang this a drag, you know, this was generation grandma, four, dragon. dude. This is the great GG. Okay. So it's, she was so old, her pussy had a wig. <laughs> it's a gilf. The dragon, the dragon slayer. She she had the little fucking curlers in her fucking pube hair, dude. Is like, damn, woman. You're not going to the fucking uh, typing hall anymore. The 1980s pink curlers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Was she happy that Was she happy that you didn't have to take enzyme? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "Hey, do you need your little blue pill?" I was like, "Fuck what? you, bitch! You eat it." Fox, I gotta ask, what her pussy <laughs> tastes like? Dude, it, it, it tasted <laughs> it tasted like like black licorice and fake sugar. I was gonna say probably depends. <laughs> like like uh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Baby Black powder baby. and... Oh. I love it. Yeah, it, okay. it, it, all, all that I tasted was post-menopause, dude, so... Mm. You don't have to worry about anything after, you know? You don't have to worry about that, po that uh, phone call. It's your kid! <laughs> yeah. This is your great-grandson. You know what Vox yeah. says? Get her before death does. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, never, I don't say that, dude. That's a good, I, good one, though. <laughs> hey, dude, every successful rape starts with no. Exactly. No, no, you know, no, I did no, find out yes. that uh, seven out of eight people enjoy gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> your, your mom being, being the one that doesn't? Or on the internet. Probably the one that does. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, dude. You can, you, can, you can find it on film. <laughs> right on, right on. Well, get drunk for us in another country and smoke some foreign weed and do some crazy drug that no one's ever heard of before. Just for Vox, okay? Definitely, definitely. I mean, Modesto, I, it's, I'm in Modesto. I could probably find one of those things. Yeah, quite possibly. But yeah, dude, like I said, good luck to you guys on the road, and much love, dude, to, you know, bringing it worldwide. Fuck yeah. Uh, thanks for having me on, and uh, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Call back in a little bit. We'll be That's fucked up. Yeah, we're going to be drunk later, so. All right, maybe I'll call back after I get my, my pool as well. There nice. you go. All right, thanks, dude. Take it easy. All right. We had another caller calling in, so go ahead and call back when you get a chance. Yeah, but, you know, right now, uh, I, I, I come across this every week, is uh, we get engaged in really good conversation like this, but then I remember, you know, this is the motherfucking metal show, so we're here for some metal. So uh, this, is, this show tonight is about Above Ground from Seattle. Uh, it's a long drive on a weeknight because my show just has to be fucking on Wednesdays. Thanks no, we a lot. Call you want it? You want it? Yes. Oh, I, I want it. How's that? Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CooveRadio.com. I don't know where the fuck it's off. Okay. It's Dragnuts. Hey. What up? What up? <laughs> I'm just chilling over at Bud Togers. I had to call and tell you a fucked up story. Had a show. Yeah, I'm sure you've got some. Did it have anything to do with uh, butt darts or poo jousting? Kind of. All right. <laughs> In a sense. Please continue. All right. It's, yes, bring it. All right. So, I, so, you know, I worked at the Roseland for like three years, right? Yeah. Roseland, Aladdin. And during Megadeth, I worked in the pit down in front of the front row, all the crowd surfers and shit. And this dude's right at the front rail, and he's got his hands on the rail, and I could see him, and I watched him a couple times, and he just looked like he was out of it. And he just, his eyes were on the back of his head. And he's passed out, so I jumped up there. Me and my buddy grabbed him by his belt loops and put him up over my shoulder and started running him around the corner because he was out of it and we wanted to get him help. And the motherfucker had a colostomy bag, oh. and it popped. Oh. Oh. You, you got, 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 sorry about got, that. got a little drainage. <laughs> yeah, he squeezed the shit out of him, but said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That yeah, tops I mine. I thought that was pretty fucking horrid. Yep, that tops mine for sure. Yeah, I mean. That's it? Yeah. Joe doesn't even need to have a colostomy bag. He still fucking just shits everywhere. 
<laughs> well, fucking. Uh, so are you? So are you after this Saturday night, right? Uh, what gonna be shitting ha- everywhere? Ha- maybe the show, man. The show. Well, he yeah. Walks out, I asked walks out on a date, and he's gonna go. Yeah, he, 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 he it, wants. We're gonna see how it goes. He wants to anally uh, penetrate me, and I don't think that's gonna happen again. Again. <laughs> Nobody ever goes for it twice. Come on now. You gotta start with your tongue. <laughs> wow, dude, you are fucked up. ATM, baby. Dude, you are fucked Ask up. Ask the mouth. Fucked <laughs> up. Yeah. Kingdom but, under f- Yeah. Um, Saturday night. Yeah, we're actually going to be playing some of their music, uh, and we're yeah, going yeah, yeah. to have a call from Chris Richardson here in a little bit uh, talking about uh, some of the new additions to KUF, and uh, check out the show this Saturday at the Hawthorne. It's going to be a fucking killer one. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, the odious. Odious, Southgate, Kingdom Under Fire, uh, Path to Ruin, and uh, uh, fuck. All right, we'll get back to that. Vox hasn't game. been around since. And me and Vox, and not only that, but me and Vox Ooh. are reunited, and it feels so good. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's time for some fucking metal. This right here is uh, our special guest from far away, who's going to be checking in here real soon. This is above. All ground. right, man. Peace. Above ground with Later. bitch.
happen when? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, whole, the whole world's listening. I've got a date Saturday night, so that won't be happening. She said she'd sleep with my dad when she's dead, which okay. I don't think is often. You guys can get up on the mic, sir. Get the mic in the mouth, remember, honey? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if practice before. before. This is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking nobody. Leave that to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have sex this weekend, dude. Totally. I'm going to fit my brown dick in a square. You need to stop looking at Joe. Oh, speaking of which, we should call her. Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we'll call her later. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna have we have someone calling. They called 14 times while you guys were on break. Yeah. So go ahead and call back again. That, that will happen. Well, after this time, I promise. Yeah. yeah. If we like you. <laughs> which we do. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have the band calling since, since they couldn't make it here, you know, because, I mean, that's like six hours round trip in between work and work. And I was like, eh, I, I guess I should just tell you no, that you have to be here, but then I'm getting fucked up and I don't want them driving all that way back drunk. So, so we're, we're allowing a call-in show tonight. So, Mr. Rick Raff, if you can hear me, Rick Raff, fucking call in. So that you guys can say what's up, because these people are listening for you. Oh, we got a color. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Thank you for calling Boxes Northwest Metal Show on Radio dot com. Uh, hey, this is Danny from Reality Chick TV. Oh, what's up? Oh, hey. That's not what I was expecting, but a pleasant surprise, nonetheless. Yeah, there's no Billy Bowl here tonight, huh? No, Billy is uh, homesick with the HIV. <laughs> he told me he had the yeah. crabs. And, and, and he invited me to call in tonight and be a guest. Well, well you're welcome to call in still. Yeah, okay. you know, this is Vox's yeah, Northwest well, Metal Show, and I'm still fucking here and happy to have you. Well, I'm, yeah, well, I'm happy to hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys familiar with me? Uh, I am. So tell everyone who this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Yeah, and yeah, I know Bill, Billy probably talks about me all the time because he's in the. Awesome dude, one of my biggest supporters. Yeah, this is Danny Danny Shipman. Uh, he does a little thing called Reality Check TV. He's got like six billion likes on Facebook, and has interviewed all types of uh, massive mega superstars. So, a reality so, TV show. Well, kind of reality check TV. Yeah, reality Everyone check makes TV. A it's it's actually yeah, it's pretty reality sick. Check TV. Reality check TV. Yeah, tell us about we it, bro. Hang out. Yeah, well, it's, it's a decadent, debaucherous, hell-raising, uh, in-your-face, sh- in-your-face shock rock uh, television show uh, specializing in, in uh, all forms of uh, metal, punk rock, strippers, porn stars, and uh, various decadent science fiction, monster movies, comic book conventions, all the good stuff. Nice. So, yeah. like... Uh, <laughs> Everything a boy could want is yeah, on our show. Pretty much like porn for nerds. It, it's, yeah, it's, that, it's, that, it's a win-win-win. So is it a web show, or is it a local to your area? Uh, we, we, are, we, we are in San Francisco Cable Channel 29 every Saturday night at uh, 10.30, and uh, we're, we're also online at realitychecktv.com or on Facebook at realitychecktv. You can uh, check out all the uh, crazy stuff that we're doing all the time. We're a bunch of media whores, and we're filming every uh, big big and little uh, metal show that we're interested in filming. I mean, we're going to be doing Saxon this weekend. Nice. Saxon and Fozzie. Uh, we just uh, did the online pay-per-view show with Possessed, uh, the gathering event uh, that Ken Raider put on in Oakland this past Saturday. Fuck yeah, dude. Possessed is sick. Yeah, those, yeah, yeah. Well, can you believe cool. nobody ordered it, the online pay-per-view? We did a live broadcast. There's over 70,000 people on Possessed uh, Facebook page, and not one of them ordered the pay-per-view. It was only 10 bucks. What, what a bunch of cheapskates. Were they all at the show? Um, maybe there there wasn't that many people there. There There's probably about about 400 people at the show, maybe 500 at the most. Yeah, they should have paid for that then. Hey, you've, you've had, you've had Uhura on your show, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Michelle Nichols, Latina Uhura has, uh, been been on Reality Chick TV, a little Star Trek convention we covered last year. And, uh, I, I saw some pictures of, uh, Adam West too. From what I hear on Facebook, on, on Family Guy, he really likes saltwater taffy. Is it true? (laughs) Uh, yeah, 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 yeah I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't witness this, but, uh, yeah, 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 Adam West is, is, is a pr- pretty cool, cool, cool guy. He's got that deadpan, uh, humor, you know, the, uh, classic Batman, of course. I, I would vote for him for mayor any day, dude, seriously. 
Adam West, so Adam West for right. president. I think he should be mayor. Adam West for president, 2016. Isn't that guy? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, I'm going to be involved in a event. I'd like to plug this event that I'm going to be involved in October 27th in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, my buddy Shane Bugney, who's a, w- a world's foremost authority on serial killers. Yes. Uh, he's going to be uh, hosting an event. I think it's going to be coming to your area, too, uh, called Let's, Let's Talk Satan, Serial Killers, and the Murder of Dana Plato. Wow. There's a lot. That'll be October 27th, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be in San Francisco at the Vortex Room at uh, 1082 How- Howard uh, Street. But I believe they're going to be uh, c- c- coming around to uh, the uh, Portland area and a few other places. I, I recommend going to ShaneBugbee.com, B-U-G-B-E-E. Uh, and, uh, you know, he- he's into some sick, weird, underground, freaky stuff that's very worthy of your radio show. Yeah, I like it, dude, because, I mean, out. there's always people coming in my area, like, constantly. The upper area or the lower yeah. area? Oh my Just God. all over my area. <laughs> So, uh, you know, on this oh. on this show, we like to share uh, <laughs> fucked up concert stories. So, you got you got one for us, dude? Uh, so, man, man, I don't even know where to start. I've, I've got some. I've got some of these fucked up concert stories uh, I've seen uh, in like in over a thirty year uh, career of going to concerts. Uh, but, but, if, but if I could say, say a, 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 a fucked up one that happened to me is uh, I got splattered with Gigi Allen's feces. Oh, oh. yeah, that, that's, 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 a, that's a little traumatic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw him six weeks to the day before he died of a heroin overdose. Fuck. Um, he, he, was, he was performing in San Francisco. He, he, he assaulted this girl on stage, headbutted her in the face, and uh, um, beat, her, beat her to a pulp. And uh, you know, he was butt naked. Uh, you know, he just had a dog collar and, 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 and boots on. And was, was was attacking people, and then he takes a big dump in the middle of the floor. I mean, I was upstairs because I thought that would be a safe place to be. Uh, and, 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 and he, he eats half the turd, and he's smearing it all over himself. Oh. Uh, and and, and, and then, then he looks up in the direction where I was in the balcony, and he went, "You, you pussy, think you're safe from me up there?" And he started, and, 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 he, and he just threw it, and it splattered everywhere. I, I, I like uh, I leaped backwards. I, I I leaped onto my back. I threw myself on my back, and then I jumped up, and then then some of it was like all over the side of my t-shirt and my leather jacket that I was holding uh, took most of it, and uh, I was like, oh, Jesus! Wow, uh, that wasn't and, the first time and, that and, cow's and been I tried, I tried to go down there to uh, wash myself off, and and then, then he was storming upstairs and. Like you ever see, you ever see that old monster movie, The Blob, where everyone comes running out of the theater? Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's what it looked like when I come out of that. All these people are coming running down the frickin' stairs because he ran upstairs and chased everybody uh, downstairs. And, uh, and and then the cops showed up and uh, came in, and he had a getaway car all waiting for him, and he got away. And <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, Yeah, and the show was only like 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah. Dude, that, that sounds like every single fucking night at jo- Evil Joe's house. <laughs> Just uh, everything is covered in fucking shit and semen, and then he bounces. And blood. Yeah, and blood. Can't forget the blood. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So fuck yeah, dude. Well, thank you for yeah, the story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's one of my 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 most uh, cra- craziest one, one, ones that, that I've experienced, and I don't recommend anybody else uh, experience a thing like that. Well, I think I know why you videotape all the shows now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody else did videotape that show. Luckily, they didn't get footage of of, of my traumatic incident, but there was a. Like that was just when I started working with Reality Check TV. I was about to start working with those guys, uh, and unfortunately, they didn't make that show that night. Because I suggested they should probably go and maybe try to interview Gigi, and then I ended up uh, be- be becoming a uh, regular member. And then I've covered a lot of the, the freaky underground and just all the metal bands I've wanted to see. You know, you name it, we've we've uh, probably had them on the show already. That's right pretty tight. And over over twenty years. Right and, uh, on. You know, you know, you know, and made made, made good good friends with, with a lot of them. you know. We we did. Uh, in case you didn't know, uh, we we produce, we helped make the uh, Raven DVD that's out now. You know, Raven just put out a, a double DVD. A double DVD, a yeah, something like that. The, the band Raven uh, and and about about sixty or seventy percent of the interviews you see on there were shot by Reality Check TV. That's including awesome, including uh, Lars, yeah, Lars Ulrich, Chuck Billy, and uh, Dave Ellison, and. Uh, uh, a couple other people myself is on there as well too sweet dude well yeah, we'll have to check it out Neil. 
And yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that's available. And you know, you know, Raven are touring with Diamond Head in the next month, so they'll hopefully they'll be coming up to your area there also. <laughs> yeah, uh, Raven. They're actually Raven and Diamond Head are going to be playing with the band that is uh, calling in right this second. Um, above ground, uh, we're highlighting their music tonight. But uh, dude, okay. thanks, Danny, for calling in. Everyone, check out Danny Shipman and uh, Reality Check TV, and catch some sick semen and shit covered experiences. With your favorite All right, superstars. thank you guys. Love thank you, dude. You. Rock on. Love you guys, too. Bye-bye. All right, we'll have to get a link to that on our website or yeah, something. Yeah, well, I'm totally going to have to throw up shit like on that, dude. Throw up shit? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, so uh, sorry um, Yeah, that was probably callers. above ground, you know, because I've got like 10 messages from them being like, what the fuck is your problem, dude? If I was eating a burrito, I would have lost it. <laughs> Man, Only a burrito. I can't handle shit. Super. No, he loves to talk about shit. It's his favorite thing ever. Smear period, blood all over my face, whatever. But talk about poop, dude. Poop, poop chin? Dude, oh, I, dude, I had a friend that uh, used to be in the car scene. And uh, he wouldn't want to leave a movie, so he'd pull his pants down and just shit on his floor and pick it up later. That's he'd never stop a movie. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CooveRadio.com. Featuring Above Ground. Identify your fucking self! No! What's up, man? What up? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. So tell tell the world who the fuck you are. Okay, well, that would be Rick Raff right about now. Right right now? Yeah, Mike, yeah, Mike, uh, you dialed the phone, he's like, here, dude, it's Rick. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we like to not answer the phone sometimes, you know? Yeah, you think? I mean, that one poor bastard called in like 14 times. We were going to call him 15 if we had to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we're we're always working up to caller number 666 on the show because that's the big winner, so we got to get there somehow. Hey, you know, yeah, you know, they were thinking that was going to be Microsoft's uh, own area code, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm down with that. I mean, isn't Bill Gates like demon spawn anyhow? Yeah. There's yeah, something like that and the one-eyed monster and all that shit. Yeah. 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 Anyway. <laughs> Flying spaghetti shit. So, uh, above ground, you're, you're, you're here, yeah. but, but not here. You're here in Metal Spirit, dude. Oh, dude, I tell you what, my, you know, we wanted to make this trip so freaking bad, dude. I mean, uh, my, you know, I've, I've got family down in Portland myself, personally, and my dad's buried down there, and, and I was, I would have loved to have made a, you know, a weekend out of this whole thing, but, uh, you know, jobs and life and obligations and all that shit always getting away. Fuck stuff that, and, dude. Uh, the things you own end up owning you. Physically kept us away from there, but we're still fucking there, bro. Well, we're going to rain check the fuck out of this, dude. And when you come down here, we'll we'll book you up for another show. And then we'll take you out on the town and we'll we'll show you some strippers you'll never forget, bro. Hills to the, yeah, man. We're uh, working on getting some uh, shows down here in Portland. Hell yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe you come down here with uh, some of our other brothers from up here. And uh, I want to take this moment to give my bros and mechanism, Tony Delizio and all you, and Bobby and Ryan and and fucking Daryl and all my, my bros and mechanism and uh, give them a shout out here. Uh, you know, Mom's Rocket, they're from the more south Washington. Uh, they're, you know, Olympia. They've, you know, a lot of those bands been playing down there, and uh, you know, we're gonna come down there and we're gonna tear your fucking town up, dude. Yeah, right on. <laughs> we're, we're down with that. We need yeah. a new street. Yeah, you you can. And an STD. <laughs> and an STD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard about that, right? Yeah. We've, we've got some new killer virus down here that's strictly just for Portland. You know, I I was right starting a, a nonprofit called Mercer for Portland. You know, and it's just all about sh- spreading the love. You know. It's amazing how much gauze will come out of a MRSA infected vagina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes better than you'd think, dude. <laughs> the girls aren't liking that. Hey, so you know what? I got a question for you. That sign or that meme on, on Facebook that showed uh, the uh, big wall painting on there it said, Keep Portland Weird. Is it like that real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a real mural, dude. Egg. Cool. I'm a fucked up person, and this place is really fucked up over there. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's why over he there, fre- he frequents. What's, what's yeah, we're in Vancouver. Guys, yeah, we're we're across the bridge right now. We're we're still Washington. That's that's Oregon. 
Or, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's right. like There's San Francisco. A body of water Rick's separating. Rick's an idiot when it comes to uh, geography sometimes. Well, uh, that's okay. This look, is, look uh, at JD, the, by the way, the bass player. What up, JD? Friend. Our look, boy. Look at it this way. We're on the good side of the river because weed's legal over here, so. <laughs> hey, you go. word to that, brother. 502. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's almost time for the 502 break. You guys going to participate with us? Well, Mike might uh, Mike might step out for that one, but JD and I are down for that shit. You know that, bro. Yeah, for sure. Always. So tell tell us about That's your tough, band. Man. We're gonna play a bunch of your fucking music tonight. Um, we've already dropped one of your songs, and uh, hopefully we didn't break it. No, you uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> but uh, tell tell us about the band in general, dude. Like, where you guys come from? What do you what are you doing with yourselves? Well, myself personally, I joined, um, God, it's coming up on really close to a year ago. Um, Mike, the you know, the, above ground is Mike's brainchild. And this guy is, is <laughs> he gets like the concept and he brings it into the band room. And it's, it's just like, where's the end to this shit? You know, the guy is fucking amazing. I love writing with him. Um, since I joined the band, we've uh, put out like three new songs. Um, kind of, well, you know, I've left my footprint on all, all the older stuff that they were performing, but the band itself has just like grown exponentially, and and we're we're all just super stoked to get this stuff out there because uh, people are you know people are really digging it, you know. Well, yeah, Hard dude. enough for the young and and soft enough for the old, and it brings a lot of a lot of people together, you know. Um, as for the direction, we're you know we're gonna put out a uh, second album here pretty quick, and then we're gonna go under the radar until we've got the third one finished. And uh, you know, a lot of big plans, man. And, and like you said, man, we're open f- opening for Diamond Head and Raven. Another yep. band, Blood of Kings, on that bill. That's coming up soon. Uh, October 9th, man. It's a week from Wednesday. Yeah, that's a week or from actually, today. It's a week from today. It's up in Seattle. Found out Slipknot's tour manager. Studio nice Seven. Man. Yeah, stu- at Studio Seven, dude. That sounds like a fucking good time, man. When's that again? Sorry. Yeah, last time we, we were there, it was all a bunch of local acts, and and we had had a really good crowd in there. And it's it was a fun place to play, man. You know, John, their sound guy, just makes everybody sound huge. So Fuck yeah, we've got one of those here, dude, Mr. Rumble at uh, the Hawthorne. Uh, notorious for just knowing what the fuck to do. You gotta love them. Much yeah. love to the sound guys yeah, and the roadies making it happen. You know. Right, right. You know, I haven't heard heard uh, or seen much about the Hawthorne other than hearing back that the sound is awesome down there. And, and of course, you know, we'd love to play down there. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's one of the top venues out here, man. You know, there's a lot of fucking good shows. Like this Saturday. Well, fuck this I'm Saturday, bad. we're gonna be fucking down there. Kingdom Under Fire with their triumphant return. Along with the odious and right. Southgate, and I played their yeah, it's fucking awesome. The last fucking two years. Yeah, Sweet. Evil Joe here is frequents that place. It's it's almost yeah, as know, much as he's on eighty second. We've been uh, <laughs> you ain't playing you know, that place the, without catching the, something. The north end, south end stigma amongst, amongst a lot of bands. You know, we're we're trying to break that. You know, above ground and Mom's Rocket and Amadon and and uh, you know, I mean, the list goes on. Um, you know, we're wanting to share our crowds. I don't know how things are going down there, but you know things the way sick, the community used to work up here. You know, it's kind of that that way of thinking is coming back. It is, dude. Right? And there's a lot of people out here doing their own thing, and we're we're you know people like Vox's Metal Show and Coove Radio and Musical Chaos and Anarchy Radio. Um, and I mean, the list goes on and on and on, but we're all doing the same thing in the same town and we're actually like starting to look around and we see everyone like doing the same thing right next to us. And we're like, Hey, why don't we just like drink beers together while we're doing this? Yeah, you guys have all started working together. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you got to put the community back into the community or it's not going to flourish. Hey, like I say, dude, birds of a feather fuck together, so... (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they shit on the same thing when they fly away, yeah, right? damn straight, dude. Damn fucking straight. That's what it's all about, dude. Shit on the same things. If anyone out there listening to the metal show, that's your homework for the week. You need to find another <laughs> metalhead friend and shit on something together. It, it's a bonding experience. That's right. 
What are we going to shit on? It doesn't have to be blue. Yep. Birds like to shit on blue it. stuff, but you know, yeah, we humans will shit on anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not picky, dude. We're actually vindictive about it. We shit, we shit on the worst things. But um, I want you guys to yeah. call back in a little bit later. We'll talk to you guys some more. Um, Go serve your rights. Yeah, exercise your 502 rights with us. We should answer this phone call. We love you, Rick Raff. All, all you crazy Love you too, brother, there. man. Um, uh, you probably won't hear from me, man. We'll uh, uh, be Pass here for JD. All right. Right on. So, uh, but we appreciate it, dude. show, guys, man. I love you and looking forward to meeting all of you, man. Yeah, so can't we'll wait to see you down here. here. Fuck yeah. We'll, blah, 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 blah. we'll get you down here. Sorry, yeah, we'll get you down here. Rocks.com. Go there. Yeah. That was Rick Raff right. with the Metal Voice. Thanks, hey, you know, uh, I love guys that call in and have Metal Voices. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on KoopRadio.com. I turn the your fuckers off! Hello? Hey! I turn the your fuckers off! What's happening? You still haven't identified yourself. Can you identify your fucking self? This is Billy really Ball. Oh, I knew that one was going to come. Yeah, yeah damn right. I'm sorry I couldn't make it tonight, Box. The stench but, of fried uh, bologna know, just walked in. Joe did make it across the river, and um, you know how the air spores are from his diseases? I got infected. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it has reached, dude. Seriously. Keep it weird. Keep it weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I got permanently diseased. I got a, I got a sexual disease from, from him, so... Uh, it's Jesus fucking Christ, airborne coming out of him. <laughs> you went swimming in a llama, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, I'm really glad that, that things are flowing. Um, uh, Danny Shipman, I want to thank for calling in. Costa oh, yeah. from Hatria, thank yep. you for calling in. Uh, we still have David Maine coming up. And uh, <clears throat> if I can get a hold of him before he gets out of practice with Crowbar, Kurt Winstein will be calling in. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah, dude. And we're only halfway yeah. through the show, and it's already just been action-packed. Yeah, it's been a great show. I, I I really am disappointed that I couldn't make it tonight. Um, but you know, Vox, you're, you're over my house a lot, and you know uh, that... I'm used to disappointment. I, I would yeah. be there if I could. <laughs> of course you would. You guys don't want me there right now. I'd infect you all. Thank you. Dude, you have already <laughs> infected us with love. Right. It was the one thing I don't have. Yeah, the mm, one thing, the one thing, he, the one thing Joe does not have yet. <laughs> Any sense of positivity? Have yet? No, we're talking love. He's got plenty. You don't love. You don't got love. No. <laughs> he doesn't have love, but he said he wants to try Mercer. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I got plenty of that. I can squeeze out on you. Uh, you should have seen. I met the Rhea sisters <laughs> this week, which was Ghana and Daya. Oh, same time. They hey, Buck, me. just a heads up. Um, you got that cord in the back of the uh, of the mixer there that you need to jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jiggle yeah. It a little bit. Jiggly. It might need a it's little lube. You might want to use some of that fish oil that Joe has. Keeps in his pocket. Actually, no, that's the slime from the outside oil. of the boat. But um, yeah, the slime. I think it's taint time. oil. Taint oil. It's 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 his anal seepage. Leakage. I had that last week. Dude, that, that's like uh, that, that's like the greatest hand job story I've ever heard in my life, man. That's it's fucking Joe's. disgusting. What? It's fucking rule, man. Fucking disgusting, dude. <laughs> it, evil, evil Joe probably has like. Three of the top ten, like, most heinous stories on the metal show ever. And there's been some pretty oh, yeah. fucked up shit, man. <laughs> I love hearing Evil Joe's stories, man. Joe, you're, you're freaking crazy, man. I love you, dude. You, your stories are awesome. <laughs> you know, I got, I got called um, lazy today because my grandma came in my room and I had a bottle of pee, ne- or I had a laundry next to my bottles of, or fuck, I... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and he was drunk, so she called him lazy. No, she called me lazy because I had a pile of laundry next to my pee bottles. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Fucking rude. Pee bottles. That's hella rude, dude. Don't I joke. do want to say hi to Lori from uh, Musical Chaos. Thank hi, you Billy. for all How that you do for everybody, Lori. It's, it's very much appreciated. I got a story about Lori. <laughs> no. No, I will fly across. You will fly across? I will fly. I've seen you fly before. You That's part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> she made it over one bar right. school. It's all right. Everyone will forgive me. She's yeah. like our. She's like our Kelly. You know. She believes she can touch the sky. <laughs> <laughs> she's got Everyone's the magic touch box. Right. No, that was the that was the floor. I thought you were going to say she likes to pee on miners. No. Wow. Wow. 
dude, dude, that we was, were in a that basement. Was, that was a secret. Mine. I wasn't gonna bring that up, dude. Fuck. All right, well, well, you should be interviewing Joe. He's, he's sitting right in front of you, and uh, you know, you we're talking about that uh, that band that he wants to put together with uh, all the ex members of all the everybody that's got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of the X Men, <laughs> the All American Rejects, the right? The X X Men <laughs> Rejects, that's it, right? <laughs> hey, we got another call. Yeah. Calling yeah. in, Billy. Thanks, so. Billy Ball. Billy. See you next week. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CoovRadio.com. Identify your fucking self so you can win something. <laughs> what? Hey, this is Keith from Separation of Sanity. Yes. I want to put a shout out about our show October twelfth at the Tonic Lounge. Yes, with Hemlock. I, I like that, dude. So thank you. I was trying to make it out to the show this weekend, and I didn't make it, but um, I still cried in my pants a little bit for you. The show was so good. Oh, I made it to that show. I saw that show. You fucking killed it. Thank you. Of course. Well, hopefully you guys can make it out. It's only 10 bucks. Starts at 8 o'clock. Time to on Sunday. You said the 12th? 11th. 11th? Uh, October 12th. 12th, Dude, sorry. You're fucking up my dates all night. I'm fucked up. I just have so many dates all the time that it's easy sorry. to fuck them up. 12th. I have a show on the 11th, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, dude, um, Separation is saying, do you, you guys got any recordings going on? What's what's up with some new music, bro? Yeah. We, we're actually in the studio right now. It's uh, in the final process of getting done, but it's really close. We're recording with Kiel uh, from Debris. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's, it's come along great, man. It's really awesome. Can't wait to bring it out to you guys. Yeah, you got a release date yet? Uh, not yet. We were hoping to have it for Power Man, but that ended up not happening. So, well, I still have an open show date. Um, one left for the rest of the year, November twenty seventh. Uh, Miss Miss Lady Chaos here is just itching to write it on the board right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, Lori. See so, if we can get it done. You, you hear it, you hear it right here, live for the world, and later on podcast CD release twenty seventh. November 27th. Uh, no promises on that one, but yeah. we're going to try. Sample tracks, 27th. Yeah, we got to at least have two of your new ones. <laughs> they don't even need to be polished. Those are better. What's that? You don't even need to polish them. Bring them in. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to mix them at all, dude. Just, you know, have all the, the tracks. We'll play them separately. Or be, do it live. Acoustic. Oh, yeah. Acoustic, that'd be awesome. Yeah. There you go. Acoustic, the 27th of November. You heard it here. Yeah. Separation of Sandy. <laughs> and check him out. Uh, you said Tonic, right? I've got the memory of a fucking goldfish, bro. What? Yeah, yeah. The Tonic Lounge. Tonic, October 12th. 12th. Sweet. 12th. Well, I'll fucking be there. How about that? You got it. Better remind him on the uh, 12th. Yeah. And the 11th <laughs> and the 9th. <laughs> tonic <laughs> Lounge. Oh, hey. Want to give a shout out to the musical Chaos Emotions as well? Fuck yeah! Yay. It's it's so awesome having them in house, dude. You know? Yeah. It, it's cool. I was I was told I better call in and get say something or they're gonna torture me. Some, <laughs> some <laughs> <other> <laughs> for that. I know, dude. It's like don't threaten me with a good time. I was like I was like, and you turned that down. <laughs> What's that? And you turned that down. Oh, I didn't turn it down, but I figured I'd get, do it that way and get on the good side, right? Oh, okay, get a good torture, not <laughs> yeah. a mean torture. Gotcha. That's right. Sweet, bro. Well, fucking keep throwing it down, dude. You guys are definitely uh, some of the heavy hitters in the scene around here, so um, we love you, and we'll, Thanks, su- we'll, we'll support everything that you guys are doing, you know? You got it. All right, Thanks so. for calling. Awesome. Tonic Lounge. No problem. Hope to see you there. Bye. Stay up, player. Bang, skeet. Okay, we had another caller calling. We are getting <laughs> so many calls. Okay. Yeah, that, this is that's awesome. Good. So it, here, here's what I can do for you guys: is uh, we'll, we're, we'll play some fucking old school thrash because I know that uh, it's not going to last long. So this right here is Insanity with Blood for Blood, and then Billy Bolt, Thou Shalt Kill. Oh. One more call. Uh, let, let's let's do it. Let's okay, do this guy's been calling in, or lady, or Thank whatever. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CoovRadio.com. I don't know if I'm all! Or I'll rape you. Turn down the radio. From Kingdom Under Fire. Kingdom oh, Under what? Fire. Uh, Christopher Richardson. Can you turn down the radio? What is, ha- what is happening? How the fuck are you, man? I'm good, thanks. Just chilling out, just listening to the show. Thank so, you. So you guys are fucking hitting the scene again, dude. We've been waiting a long time to fucking see you guys get back together. 
Uh, we have too, man. We missed the whole summer. Really, it, it sucks, but we are we are ready. Well, the scene's ready for you too. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about your new edition? Sure, man. Um, we uh, we uh, were able to after several, um, uh, you know, auditions. Lots of really really great people that showed up and did an awesome job. Um, we. Uh, Finally settled on Chris Harris, otherwise known as Cracker. Uh, a lot of people might know him from Freak Mother yep. or, uh, or uh, uh, Abomination, right? And uh, so he's he's killing it, and uh, we're, we're ready. Fuck yeah. So do you guys think you're kind of like headed in the same direction that you guys were in the past as far as your songwriting goes? Yeah, yeah, really. About, you know, the same – you know we're we're trying to stay in the same uh, the same vein, and uh, you know in the main he, vein, uh, he's writing some of his own lyrics, and we're but we're keeping most of the melody lines. Um, but he's able to do his, his own thing and stuff, so it's, it's it's really sounding good. We're we're super excited. Yeah, that's cool. One thing that's always stood out to me about you guys is you just have so much fun playing on stage. You know, mm-hmm. you guys enjoy yourself, and it's not just a performance or. Uh, work or a hard effort, you guys are just fucking, you know, it's like that's that's what you guys live for is, is being out, out there doing it live. Exactly. You know, we, we do it for fun. And uh, sweet tomatoes. You know, it'd, be, it'd be super nice to, you know, be able to make a living at it, but, you know, we do it because we love it, and it's, it, it's awesome. See, that's why I just stick to prostitution, because... You know, that's a mainstay, dude. You, you can always give up like three for five, and the money's always right. there. You know, the music can be free. And no matter what your Absolutely. prices are, you always get fucked. Yeah, damn straight. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. How you been, Chris? Miss you, man. We haven't had a beer together in forever. I know. If you we'll don't do know it Saturday. Is. Let's do it Saturday night, man. What are you doing Saturday? Just playing, playing the uh, Hawthorne. Playing, playing at the Hawthorne Theater, dude. Oh, I'll be there. It's I'll been be there, since, too. Um, Ash Street, a long time ago when it was raining before. Exactly. <laughs> I'll be there, I promise, bro. Yeah, I'm. I'm going there. Nice. Well, we'll nice, all be there. Nice. We could. We could have a big fucking drunken big orgy. Fucking drunken orgy of metal. Of metal. Metal orgy. I like it. Metal orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring right. the camera. You have no I'm idea. All for it. We can even come to my house afterwards. <laughs> oh, oh, par- after hours. <laughs> I'll bring the camera. No, no cameras like allowed, it. dude. See, he likes it. <laughs> camera's okay. Cameras are definitely okay. See, see. No, it's against my contract with fucking Adam and Eve, dude. I can't. I'll, I'll put the bag over your head that I have the video. Fuck thing Adam for. and Eve. You're gonna go live yeah. on camera. Fuck I'm with you, girl. <laughs> Boss is shy. You know, he's a shy guy. No, dude. It's oh. just that I signed a contract with a porn company, and I'm not allowed to release any other videos <laughs> while I'm under contract. I see. I, I get he's it. A liar. Okay. He he does it under the table too. Oh yeah. Then my ass <laughs> sticking out. Those underground websites. No, no, no. Yeah. We don't talk about that here. Shanghai Tunnel. Oh, oh. Not him under there, anyway. <laughs> 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 well, we love you guys. Say what's up to uh, the John, Eric, and your other fucking crazy fucks. Where is Eric? Absolutely, anyways? man. We'll be looking forward to seeing everybody Saturday night. Yep. Theater. We're going to throw down with some killer bands, man. we got um, I Am Ruin and Bleeding Cowboy and uh, mm-hmm. The Odious. It's going to yep. be sick. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. They what? for what? our launch yep. party. Path to Ruin, right? Yeah. Path to Ruin, yeah. Path to Ruin. Oh, my bad. Yeah. For sure. Bad. Yeah, God damn it, Chris. I thought we had a new local band. Oh, like, yeah. I know. Oh, like, I'm, I'm old, man. My memory's bad. I was like, new bad? bands are popping up like fucking <laughs> teenagers' like penises. something saying that. <laughs> so, I'll laugh at both. Yeah, thanks for fucking uh, tuning in and giving us the update, dude. We'll see you Saturday down at the Hawthorne. We will be there right up front in the fucking pit. Making people bleed. Beautiful. Making people bleed. Fuck yeah. Bleed. Straight out of their bleed. vaginas, dude. Like hardcore. I'll bring the I camera. Like yeah. Wayne, <laughs> I can have the camera. Right. Thanks for calling in, man. All right. Fuck yeah. It's time for our 502 break. So I'm going to throw on some music here. Uh, this is going to be a band that's going to be playing this weekend with Kingdom Under Fire. And of course, we are still going to throw down the old school thrash because apparently I do not give enough love for the old school thrash. So. Um, what we're going to do here is we got Insanity with Blood for Blood, Billy Bolt, Mr. Producer, who's sick with the HIV. <coughs> he'll, he'll get over it. 
Um, that's going to be Thou Shalt Kill. And then uh, after that is Path to Ruin with a live track that they uh, recorded. And I don't know from where, but does it really fucking matter? Just bang your head.
that right there path to ruin live now we're gonna bust out another track from above ground this right here is skin deep i like being skin deep We're back. Thank you guys for sticking around for Vox's Northwest Metal Show. Hope you guys enjoyed your 502 break. So get back in here. Get a head change. Speaking of head change, head change is having their uh, annual head change Halloween party. Ooh. Yeah, different head change. Uh, but yeah, different head change. Head change. Yeah, there's it, another head change. Well, actually, I was in a band when I first moved up here. That uh, started a band called Head Change. Really? And did you uh, spell it the right way or the wrong way? It was spelled. Um, the right way, but upside down halfway. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I still have a bunch of the drawings and stickers and everything that I made for that. Too. Yeah, we started a we started a head change chapter of the Black Label Society, dude. Uh-huh. I mean, we were legit, uh, the most legit two person band like ever. Nice. Just guitar and vocals, fucking shit up, dude. We we went down to fucking uh, Skidmore Fountain. And I uh, just played a show, just me fucking screaming my ass off while my buddy's just thrashing on fucking guitar. And uh, then we tried playing, like, Pioneer Square. And uh, it was during during the holiday season, so there's this big-ass tree with, like, all these fucking lights that are just, like, 
draining the earth. And we tried to plug in one amp into a little socket, and they the cops were going to arrest us for theft. Yeah. Theft of the city's power. You, you were able to play long enough, though, that enough people started walking by, hearing it, and they all started sitting down around the yeah. fountain. Yeah, dude, we, we, we played for all those it. fucking bums underneath the bridge, like like them. three blocks away, dude. How Under often, the bridge. How often do you get some fucking metalheads going to rock out for, for the homeless? Seriously, that's what I. That, that's the way. Ox that's what we need to do is rock for the homeless. Awesome. No one pays to get in a show anyway. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. That's funny. So yeah, uh, again, thank you for my in studio guests. You guys Sweet. make this fun. Thanks for having Miss, us, Miss Lady Chaos. Oh, Miss I Nikki. Turn the camera back. Motherfucking Northcraft. Northcraft. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like witchcraft of of the of the good, north of the good kind. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Good. Oh. Good one. Is that true? <laughs> There's Is lots of big true? grins. And then, but you're good. And then we've got fucking Evil Joe over here thrashing on the paper jams. It's rainbow in the dark. <laughs> we, saw, we saw a double rainbow today, dude. Yes, we did. So we decided to stop at Little Caesars because yeah. that's where it was coming from. Yeah. Double rainbow headed straight out of Little Caesars. That guy was pretty flaming. <laughs> Speaking of which, never I'll mind. have you ready in three minutes. Yeah, which ended up fucking taking him like twelve. It's like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, he, seriously. He gave her pizza to the chick in front of us. Seriously, he he gave his uh, deep dish to some fucking ugly bitch. I was like, I've got better tits than she does, man. Come I on. What if that works for pizza delivery guys? Tits. I got your deep dish. Mm. Well, uh, the cemetery lust guys that we had in last week. Uh, one of them is a pizza delivery guy and. A metal, pen. it's usually pizza delivery or a warehouse worker. Yeah, huh? yeah, exactly. The other guy was a fucking metal fab. Yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They they were pretty cool. You freaks! That that goes out to the necro drunk, fucking crazy Dylan, Dylan, badass. Ran into those guys down at uh, uh, the back alley too. I played my uh, played my first show with Betrayed by Weakness with them. That's awesome. And they talked a bunch of shit. And then somebody yeah. fell down and broke their leg from oh, their our, band in our mosh pit. Oh, in the mosh some, pit. Some lady. Uh, actually, it wasn't just some lady. It was Tim's from Betrayed by Weakness. His oh, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's fucking awesome. And hey, Betrayed by Weakness. I played their CD release. Their killers. Your your killers come with smiles. Oh yeah. We did the Ash Street out there, mm-hmm. and that was dude. Those guys were fucking sick. Played with American Me. And, oh, I was uh, there. Yeah. 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 Th- that was. That was the show that really stood out because those guys, they, they all play together. You know, it's one sound that's hitting you in the fucking face. You know, so we actually have some of them coming up here soon. So, um, but yeah, Back Alley tonight, the uh, Vox's metal show after party karaoke spectacular is going on down there. Tonight? Ca- cash money. Is Sean working? Yeah. Speaking I was just going to say we need to have oh, a Coob Radio play? Mohawk karaoke night sometime. I think we might yeah. make a stuff. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CoovRadio.com. Identify your fucking self so you can win something! <laughs> What's up? It's JD from Above Ground. Oh, god damn it. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i really happy to hear from you, but I can't give you free shit. You're a part of this. It's okay. I don't need free shit. I got enough shit. Well, you don't... You, how's this? I'll hook you up with some of the best Portland music around. How about that? That sounds like a great deal. Fuck I yeah. love that deal. Yeah, because you don't have that, and you do, you need it. So we need to expose you to, to the Mercia Fest. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mercy, the word of the night, Mercia. Mercia. Mercia is the word of every night, dude. It really is. <laughs> I need the Pee Wee Herman scream in the background, don't I? <laughs> Speaking oh, of the Pee Wee Herman, so I went to... Um, What's that Chinese food place that's not real Chinese food? Panda Express. Yeah. <laughs> there was nobody in there when I walked in there. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So they have like this um, handrail type thing you can lean against while you're waiting. And my brother-in-law was with me and I jumped up there doing the Pee Wee Herman dance yeah. trying to get somebody's attention. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, the pe- dude, get out dude. of Portland. Yeah, not seriously. from here. Seriously. It's all about the Pee Wee. If you don't know who Pee Wee Herman is or Ramblin' Rod, yeah, <laughs> just go. JD knows all about that, but they have their own Seattle oh. version. Of course I know. I grew up with Pee Wee Herman. He's yeah. my hero, isn't he? Yeah, dude. Yeah, he's Him and everybody's hero. And Meatloaf Day or whatever the hell that show was about. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, as uh, we like to do on this show, that I'm you, you, we haven't made you do yet. Uh, 
I want you to identify your fucking self. Tell me what you do in the band, and then tell me one of your most traumatizing, fucked up show stories. You're in a band, dude. I am in a band. Wanna Watch fuck? out! This is uh, Wanna fuck? <laughs> James Dean Fabian Sorry, from I'm above just being ground. Like somebody in um, I mess. play bass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did we lose you? I don't know. No, there you are. Laughing. I didn't know what he's laughing about. Apparently, my name is funny. What's up with that, girl? No, no, no. They were licking each other's ears. Sorry. Oh well, that's always an attractive you... thing. What's up with that? Why are you on the radio then? I think it tickled her. I don't know. Oh, something like that. Anyway, I play oh. bass for Above Ground. Um, oh, nice. I moved from Omaha, Nebraska out here to play bass in a band. And Omaha. Above Ground picked me up, and I've been playing with them ever since. Fuck yeah. And it's all downhill, um, right? That's, you know, that's one state yeah. I don't know much about. Um, how's the the crop of STDs in uh, MRSA infected vagina in uh, Nebraska? Yeah, it is. Um, there, there's a lot of STDs involved in Nebraska. They're, they're the ones that you contract from fucking the sheep. Specifically, the Mercer one, yeah. And syphilis. Um, now tell me, is it so cold there in the winter, if I have this Google cor- um, search correct, um, if you ejaculate outside and it is so cold that your cum will freeze and break before it hits the ground? Uh, if you're, if you actually, if um, you do practice and you get, you get your technique down, you can get it so it won't break when you hit the ground, and then you have a little cum sickle. There you cum go. sickle, cum sickles yeah, for yeah. everybody, dude. A new best friend. <laughs> I think Joe's in love, dude. You start talking about frozen semen. And, <laughs> How about uh, pretty please? Oh please, oh please, oh please. <laughs> Well, everybody has a thing, I guess. Yeah. I mean, frozen semen isn't exactly my cup of tea, well, but everybody, like I said, everybody has a thing, right? Yeah, and a cup of frozen semen is Joe's thing. If they're in like little, like little, like little, sh- little, 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 little cum darts, yeah, little cum darts, <laughs> cumsicle darts, but <laughs> they're easy on the go. Anytime you need one, there you go. Just pop one in. Yeah. Exactly, and That's it's great. And it, it's great for babies that are teething too. You know. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Had to top it, didn't you? Oh, I always got to top it. You start uh, talking about yeah. frozen cum, dude, and I just can't help myself. Me and Evil Joe are very similar when it comes to that. So, um, fucked no, up show yeah, story, dude. Gonna... I want to hear a fucked up show story. Oh, fucked up show story. Um. Well, I don't, I don't, uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, I've seen... I've seen people lose clothing while they were uh, crowd surfing, but I guess that's kind of a normal thing. So you've never like seen um, a chick get fisted by a stranger on stage or anything like that? No. Um, I guess oh, one notice. thing, I, I don't know if I should say this live, but um, I used to do catering, and I worked at um, the Quest Center, which is the big arena yep. in Omaha, and um, Shinedown was playing, and I was delivering food to their bus, and I walked in on them shooting up heroin, Huh. So I don't know. Wow. That's a fucked up story. Yeah, awkward. Kind of Open fucked up. the door. Oh god! And awkward. then slowly step back. I that was pull, pull the, yeah, isn't that normal? I I, I was. Guess that's up. Normal. It, I guess that's how you know you made a big is when you start doing heroin, right? Hmm. I thought that was cocaine. Oh well, I, thought, I mean, heroin, I thought that was just a drug. Either or. I thought that was just main veining in general. You don't, know what's, you don't know which way's up and which way's down, right? See, I think it's I think it's all um, about where you inject. You know, if you're main veining, then that means you fucking made it. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't matter what you're fucking putting in there; it's just where you're putting it. Twenty-five cc's of heaven, right? Boom! Booyah! Twenty-five cc's and three inches of outstanding pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you guys, and uh, you know, thank you guys for calling in and sticking around with us tonight. You know. Uh, we're going to book up a gig for you to come down here, and then you're all going to stay at Rick Raff's family's house and crash out on uh, Auntie Flo's couch. Uh, of course, it's got to be Aunt Flo, right? Oh, but, God, not um, Auntie Flo. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for, for doing what you do, especially with the local scene, supporting the music. You know, it's all we all got to stick together. We all got to help each other out. Otherwise, we ain't going nowhere. So thank you guys for doing what you do. Um, we really appreciate it, and uh, I definitely look forward to coming down and... Uh, Rocking some faces. Fuck yeah, dude. We're excited to have you guys down here, and we'll hook you up with, with some bands that, as uh, Dylan from Necro Drunks would say, LIFT WEIGHTS! 
<laughs> lift weights. Sounds we like bands lifted some fucking, fucking weights. You fucking freaks. Um, so thanks for calling, man. Yeah. And uh, we're going to play some more of your music. Thank you. Hell yeah, dude. Rock on. Killer. And uh, for you guys listening up north, check them out. Studio <laughs> 7 on the 12th. I, I can remember these yes. things. Yes, yes, it was the 12th. Was it? Or was it the 9th? No, it was the 12th. No, the other one. Yeah, the other ga- thing's the 9th. That's right. I'm See? Confused. Yeah! I, yeah. I've been confused lately. Yeah! You're, hey, if somebody comes up to you and says, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> well, <laughs> d- Does that mean you want to go smoke pot in a parking lot or yeah. some crazy midget wild child magazine owner just like wants to <laughs> suck your dick in uh-huh. a parking lot? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. it just means yeah. that crazy bitch wants to suck your dick. Okay, I just I didn't know what that uh, meant. Probably. That's what I said. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so fucking perfect. Perfect. No. So um. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, we could do this all night. <laughs> yes. Wow. No. Yes. <laughs> um. So uh. Okay. We've we've got Dave Main who's going to be calling in here any second. So I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and throw on. Uh, let's see, what should we do here? We should uh, call well, somebody. We should, should, should we should call your girlfriend, my mother. <sighs> I don't know if her square box can take the pressure, dude. Yeah, it's already supposed to be lined up for this weekend, so you don't want to ruin it, do you? Oh, oh that's probably her. Uh, I don't know where this is from. What's it say? <laughs> Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CoovRadio.com. Identify your fucking self! What's up? This is Dave Midnight Metal Mayhem. Metal Mayhem. Hi, Dave! Dave Main, what's up? You've got a whole <laughs> room of supporters here, bro. That's yeah. awesome, dude. I just turned on your uh, your Ooh. studio pot or your video cast or whatever. Our, I'm watching you guys. Our videos are always turned on, if you know what I mean. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Damn straight. It's, except the only difference is this week we actually have women here. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we are. Good time. What's going on, guys? We know, Dave. Hey, um, Dave. What's going on? I don't know. We're just doing this metal show thing and answering a bunch of phone calls for people that already have a bunch of fucking music. Indeed. Yeah, Billy Bolt has been hounding me to call in, so I'm glad I finally got to. Yeah. I, show's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, dude. You, same goes to you. I mean, I've listened to your shit too. Like you, you've been throwing it down. How long you been doing the the Midnight Mayhem show? Uh, about a year and a half now, almost. Year and a half. So yeah, we're we're pretty close on the timeline, dude. I started this uh, eight eight of last year. So <laughs> sweet. That's crazy. That dude. Awesome. We're like radio brothers. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, it was. Uh it was just a, uh, I came home drunk one night and said, you know what, it would be really cool to do a metal show, and that's pretty much how it started. Yep. That's yeah, how it started uh, for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we all kind of just, like, live the lifestyle, and then it's like, oh, hey, you've got this opportunity to do this. I'm like, well, I'm going I'm to do my fucking thing. And here we are. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, I'm glad you guys listened to the show. I'm going to have to start listening to this one. I've listened to it a few times, but... Uh, Let's give it some lessons now. Yeah, and and I'm actually gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna call you out right here, live on the air, bro. Um, <laughs> uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to trade shows. You play mine on yours, and uh, I'll play yours on mine. Does that sound hot? Yeah, I think we could do that. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Joe's over here fondling his cr- his groin. Oh, I wasn't fondling. I pulled him out. Oh, <laughs> get some Fermunda cheese in there. Fermunda. He's like, they gotta breathe. Fuck. It's like cross from from <laughs> Swiss and Blue. <laughs> so, uh, what do you got going on on your show coming up, man? Uh, this Friday we have uh, Jimmy O from JoeBlow.com. dot com. He's going to come on and promote a horror uh, a horror festival taking place down in I think it's L A. So he's going to be on the show Friday at midnight, and we're going to play a bunch of chick metal. It's going to be badass, and uh, hopefully support some good horror. Yeah, horror horror fest for sure. Indeed. Is that the naked haunted house I heard about? I was like, support a good whore, so that means she swallows. <laughs> and and she doesn't charge. She doesn't charge extra. Yeah, exactly. That, that's her charge. Or 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 or. Be like, bitch! I fucking fed you your daily dose of protein. <laughs> you, you want money too? Yeah. Damn it! What else do you want? Here's a cum sickle. Seriously, yeah, <laughs> cum sickles for everybody, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so uh, we definitely love what you got going on, man. You know, we, we're just co- we're just copycats. That's all we do. 
<laughs> no, not at all. There's plenty of room on the internet for all of us. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're actually. Do you work with any other uh, like online radio shows or other radio stations down there doing similar things? No, no. We just basically do our own thing. In fact, we got a live show right now uh, that's airing as we speak called Dark Noises. It's all gothic, industrial, dark wave, <laughs> uh, and it's actually being broadcast from up there in Seattle in oh, your neck of the woods. Shit, Hell they're trying yeah. to fucking steal my demographic. <laughs> <laughs> or as a very I don't know. Unless you guys play the Cure on Vox, then you don't have nothing to worry about. Yeah, there's not so much. Uh, n- there's there's not really like flock of seagulls, you know. Um, but. <laughs> Just don't play any uh, any winger, and we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, and as, as a very wise musician once told me, every note has been played before, so we don't steal <laughs> riffs; we share. There you are. So uh, you know, it's up to us, bro. Is that Guns and Roses? Because they share girlfriends too. No. no. Okay. So so, dude, I, it, it's up to us, man. We got to be the trendsetters of of you know joining together the community. We got to make it happen, you know. Like uh, I'm making it a personal goal to work with Anarchy Radio up here because they're in Portland, they're doing their thing, and uh, it's it's not a battle, dude. We're or it is a battle. We're just on the same side, you know. So we love Anarchy. Yeah, I mean uh, the apo- dot com versus FM. The ap- <laughs> <laughs> as the owner, I call that out. The wave of the future, man. I, yep. I look at it as dot com versus God. <laughs> <laughs> which, which should be should be an easy one to win in the end, really. I don't know. He likes rock and roll. <laughs> Not really. He likes fucking pussy rock, dude. Like Bon Jovi. <laughs> Trust me. Me and God have had like serious, in depth conversations. He likes about Tenacious D. His, his musical taste, like it's fucked up. And I haven't told you about Tenacious D. But he was out D's in a blaze of glory. Yes. <laughs> the good old chariot of fire, right? <laughs> So yeah, Dave, you fucking kick ass. Thank you for uh, nice. stopping in and saying hello. Thank from, you, Dave. From Indeed, man. Indeed. Good from, to see you guys. Is that Nikki and Laura over there? Yeah. Yes, it is. We fucking love you, Dave. You're awesome. Thank you. I love you guys, too. And uh, yeah, we got to hook up and get some more uh, metal from up in the pack northwest on Midnight Metal Man. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm on yep. it tomorrow morning. I'm <laughs> on it. I'm yeah. going to oh, like the Vox yeah. Northwest Metal Show on Facebook as we speak. Oh, right thank now. you. That's really yeah. that's really you know, sweet. You know, so thank you. And also, I got to say, you know, we've had some pretty crazy response this fucking week. We've got 100 new likes in the past, like, 72 hours. So it's it's really blown up. And, <laughs> and that's, not because of, that's not because of me. You know, that's because of all of you out there, really, you know, spreading the word and, you know, much love to, like, Sean from Simon Says Die and, uh, Check out this forum. It's uh, Underground Music Coalition, the UMC. There's a badass list of bands uh, right there that uh, you you could definitely draw on. So, word. <laughs> cool, man. Well, you guys have a great show. Metal to the pedal, to yeah. the road, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where the road meets the rubbers, right? Indeed. Fuck yeah. All right, dude. Rock on. All right, guys. See you later. All right, and check check them out. Check out Day Main Friday nights. Friday nights at midnight. At midnight metal yeah. mayhem. Yeah, it's pretty That's bad. A- at amigosradio.com. Yeah. Net. Oh, net. Dot net. Dot net. Amigo radio. Dot net. Dot not dead. It's like Tully California. So so all about that. The caller before the last caller before that one or something, they were talking about things they saw at a show. Yes, mm-hmm. and and it reminded me of uh, a show that I was at. The I saw and my friends that I went with partook in. Uh, why are you going to tell stories about me, bro? I know, right? Oh it was Tenacious D, the duo, not the band. <laughs> we were up on stage. People were throwing joints on the stage for him and everything. Of course. And this girl reaches up for the for a joint, and her ass falls out of her mini skirt. And uh, one of our local DJs. Reached up her skirt and started banging her. Wow. At a show? At a show, right on this front stage. She was leaning over it the whole time. And uh, um, he got tired and wanted to get another drink, so he hit one of the other guys and said, hey, here, take over. So he reached up in there and started banging her while he took a couple drinks of his beer, and then he went back and swapped hands on this chick, and she was just loving it. What? Just laying on the stage, just what? fucking what loving it. What show is that? It was a Tenacious D show. It was very tenacious up yeah. in the deep. They were probably playing hard yes. fucking about that time, but I think I think they did it for like three or four songs. 
I, uh, Seriously, this girl was into it. I got a story that other people They were people into that girl, dude. <laughs> I got a pretty good one, actually. I was playing with uh, Six Feet Under, and I don't wear boxers or underwear when I play. And I happen oh, to uh, rip, my rip the pants, pants out. Didn't, didn't even fucking know it. And everybody, I think one of the comments were it looked like a squirrel running around in a tree in there. And <laughs> there was a bunch of comments that were made. It was chasing the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Dick and balls swinging for days. Hey, dude, even a blind squirrel finds one every once in a while. <laughs> so, um, you know, Billy Bolt just messaged me. He said that, uh, <laughs> oh, he says he wants to see the peewee dance. He wants to see the peewee dance. Do it Do it on webcam. Should I, should I find some peewee music? Get away from me. Da, 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 da. I need the music. Yeah, <laughs> I can. No, th- that was pretty epic uh, acapella there, bro. Good job. Why don't you make me? <laughs> dude, they talk about you. your big butt. <laughs> wow, Paul Rubens, dude. What a, what a How fun. about pretty please? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> wow. I don't have the music, though. Yeah, it's crazy how, you know, a child molester could get as famous as Michael Jackson, yeah. yeah I mean, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. And then. Uh, I mean, Mr. Rogers. I mean, uh, <laughs> Rambo the Rod. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Rambo the Rod did anything, did he? Mm-mm. Did no. he get charged for anything? No, he just... He didn't get he caught. Was slick. Yeah. yeah. He was slick. I mean... It doesn't mean I, he I was on his show he like just nine wasn't times. Guilty. I don't remember anything. Uh, yeah. You don't remember <laughs> that's, that's the fucking <laughs> that's roofies. That's the combination yeah, in between. Exactly, yeah. Does this smell like chloroform well? kid and roofies? <laughs> <laughs> Does this taste like memories you'll never fucking remember and block out? And he makes the, he makes the kids cry twice. He's <laughs> bloody dick on her teddy bear. Whoa. Oh. That person hung up. You're yeah, I would have too. Dude, you are disgusting and wrong. He Why is. are you fucking tainting my show? I'm not half as bad as you. Oh, whatever. Okay, I gotta try this one. I th- is it the secret word? <laughs> okay, that was a secret word laugh. Sweet. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on Coop Radio. What? Weird. It's, it's it won't weird. let me answer it. Thank you for calling Vox's Northwest Metal Show on CoovRadio.com. Identify your fucking self so you can win some fucking free shit! Now. Nipples. <clears throat> Speak. We're looking for the chick with big boobs. We're ready to do that. <laughs> we are ready to do you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we just got pranked yeah we yeah. did we were looking for the chick with big boobs we are ready to do you now <laughs> winger speaking of winger dude <laughs> winger. <laughs> all right so we got five minutes left i've got another song that i want to fucking play so i'm nap southeast below the belt buckle shut your mouth about uh, your is that your request mm-hmm. well then I'll, we'll have to do two songs okay we have to because somebody was like too bad we're gonna play it so we're gonna play it Oh, I think we still have the prank color. Yeah, we do. Well, you're supposed to identify yourself. Speaketh. I think I didn't hang Speaketh up Speaketh before you cometh. <laughs> Wrong yeah. hole. All right, you party. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I hope that wasn't a who farted. Or was that a... It was. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you kind of got excited about I that. I thought for like three seconds I knew who this was because I knew a lot oh, of fucking okay. metalheads who fart. Yeah, I think all of them. Yeah, yeah, all of them. I know who it is. I think I knew who it is. It's fucking miscreants. Evil. Is it? It's a, it's a tiny. It's a tiny. That's my name. Don't wear it out. It's one of those Taco Bell nights. Taco Bell. They should sponsor us. (laughs) (laughs) You know, if they had a DUI check at a Taco Bell, we'd be fucked. We would be. (laughs) Okay, we got your order. Now blow. (laughs) Sorry, we can't serve you. Or you need to order double. (laughs) Go sit in a parking lot for a long time. I I took my friend to Hawthorne and... We were coming back. He's like, "Dude, I need fucking Taco Bell." But the whole way back, he's got the window down. He's yelling at the, "Hey, hey!" The car next to him, and I'm just like, "Dude, we're gonna get arrested." <laughs> I got a really good. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Vox's yeah. Northwest Metal Show on Radio dot com. I got a fucking song. You can something. 
This is Kimberly Bolt. Oh, I knew it. Hey, Kimberly How's it Bolt. Going? Bolt. Miss Kim, 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 What's up? It's the Kimberly. Uh, no, not Kimberly. So you called in because you yeah. want to hear Southeast of the Belt Buckle, huh? Yep. That, sure, that, yeah, that's it. That's, uh, what, that's, um, what, that's when it hangs like a little right? to the left. What are you wearing? Billy. Did I say that? Ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I heard yeah. it. Yeah, you, you said that right into the mic. Live Jim, on there. what are you wearing? Billy. Oh, no, he doesn't, he doesn't quite fit. Yeah, um, oh. More of a... Um, yeah, I'm more new age. He's more, you know, stone age. Yeah, exactly. He's really, 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 really old school. Like before, there was such a thing as school. So he doesn't yeah. shave his balls. You, for you know, his first song was etched on stone, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was the eleventh commandment, right? Yeah, he was working, working at it with the chisel. So That's, exactly, there you go. So what the fuck is up first with you? Song, his first song was on the eight track. You know, do you remember those? No. What? We, I don't either. <laughs> I have some. <gasps> oh. You have Star Wars on I, I gotta say, uh, uh, I'm proud uh, of Rage. my girls there babysitting. And and I'm disappointed in you, Joe, that dance wasn't very long. You know? Nothing about me is very long. Oh. Oh. Well, at least he can admit it. Well, see, I was trying not to bust you out like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't mind busting his own balls. Yeah. I've already pulled them out once tonight. Yeah, I know, dude. Fucking did you see that, Kim? Did you see the nuts on webcam? No, I didn't. I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, the <laughs> cum sickles are flying all over the place right now. You'll have to do it again. See? All right. One more. No, I got okay. slapped for uh, because I was uh, knocking boots with um, some girl at the gym this morning, and she was on her period, and I didn't wash today. And then I pulled it out, and everybody's like, dude, there's blood stains all over your junk, and why are you pulling it out? So I had to make a promise not to pull it out till I chisel that off and shower. Well, the thing is, is you got to be like, no, it's not period blood, dude. It's just communist. <laughs> it's not period blood. No, I told you you were blood. trying to paint the, the United States flag. <laughs> Yeah, you are fucking disgusting, dude. I cannot believe you. You are so not getting any from me when I get home with you. Fuck. Are you trying to say that he's unorthodox? Unorthodox? <laughs> unorthodox, yes. An oral box? <laughs> An oral box. You're doing oral on box? An what? oral box. He already said he only likes it when the girls take their teeth out. And yeah. I'm not a girl in I didn't say I only like it. Oh, I just said wait, there's something oh. to be said about a gummer, dude. No, he said it's only... A blowjob when the teeth are out. Or was that you that said that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Are y'all going to go trick-or-treating? Fuck yeah. Where's the trick? stealing some bags of candy from children. Yeah, I'm going to treat myself to a trick this Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My trick ain't <laughs> See, very I, much I, of a I told treat. Boss that he should go to D. Snyder because if he takes the, the blonde hairspray that they have and, and does the, the makeup, he'd look just like D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. Yeah, except completely different colored hair and, and facial not white features. Enough. And, and blonde hairspray? Yeah. Yeah, they've got the temporary washout blonde hairspray. There you go. Yeah. What, are, what are you going as, Kim? I'm not sure yet. All righty. Billy Bolt. That's the answer for everything. <laughs> last, year, last year I went as kind of bitch. I got I just dressed up in pot leaves and a pot crown and formal dress and rocked it all out. But That's I'm funny. not sure. I'm going to be dressed almost very, very similar. Yes. You got a picture? Uh, poison ivy. That's it. I'm sorry. No, that's it. That's it. I'm going to be dressed. Thank oh, God. God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're, so, we're so bad for his self-esteem. At the beginning of the night. You, go, you should go, fish, you should go trick-or-treating as a fish, a trouser trout. As a trouser trout. A trouser trout. Yes, your fish. And and Billy was wanting to know earlier if that uh, hand job you got was got at Skipper's. No, that was straight out on the lake. Yeah, dude. that was at Hag Lake. Hag, Hag Fish Lake, yeah. Right. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I wasn't asking about her. No, yeah, we're talking what? talking about Evil Joe. Hey, Vox, the only trick you're gonna treat is a tranny. Uh, you a vegetarian? Hijack. Hijack? He's gonna be on an airplane? No, I'm no. just gonna go as Jack. You know what that is? Wasted sense. If you jerk off in an airplane, you're hijacking. No. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got it. It's like the minivan. 
Two in front, five in the back. Five in the back. If your parents got divorced, would they still be related? Well, dude, you got to keep it in the family, you know? It's all in the family. Close to the kin, deeper goes in. (laughs) (laughs) Again. Yeah. So uh, that's the end of the show. We're going to watch our fucking mouths now. Or at least get it live off the air. I can almost see it. Yeah. <laughs> I can see my tongue. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, I, I finally got the calendar all set up here, dude. So listen up. Here's what we got coming up on Vox's Northwest Metal Show. Next week, Disenchanter. Then we've got Ditch Digger. Then An Effortless Approach. Iron Circus. Ultra Goat. Uh, Dead Conspiracy. Then we've got Carl and Mark coming in from Proven and Strength Keeper and all 12 other bands that they're fucking in. And then uh, we just got Separation of Sanity in here on the 27th of November. Uh, Colliding Fates. Those kids fucking kick ass. Uh, Colliding Fates, dude. They fucking yeah. kick ass. The drummer is fucking amazing. For so, the the non it says it's disability. It ain't disability. That kid's fucking awesome. Dude, they're so heavy. Here, like, I'll just play some in the background right here while I'm talking. Like... These guys are fucking badass. But uh, then after that, Bleeding Cowboy. Uh, then we have the American Roulette CD release show on the uh, 18th of December. And then our Christmas Vox's Metal show is going to be all worshiping Satan. We are going to actually have the devil here live in studio. Uh, reaping souls and taking advantage of your virgins. So... Lock up your daughters, lock up your wives. And I just want to say as a producer that I'm sorry we didn't have enough time to get the track downloaded and take care of for Nuclear Salt. Yeah, much love. And it's nuclear. Nuclear. Salt. Salt. Nuclear. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll okay. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work on that for next week. I'll, I'll get my fucking brain straight and uh, maybe sleep a wink. And uh, we'll be back next week with Disenchanter. Uh, here is per request southeast of the belt buckle and then our last track of the night much love Simon says die with white noise see you at the alley back alley tonight karaoke